all right so let's start with the default cube go to edit mode add an edge loop in the center select one half of the faces and delete add mirror modifier select the corner edges press control b to bevel add edge loops select the vertex and press control shift b drag the mouse wheel to add edge loops in bevel decrease the shape value select faces and press alt e to extrude along normal shade smooth delete faces select the rounded edges and press control b to bevel reset it from here now select the middle edge loops press control b to bevel again delete these faces select these edges set the snap to to vertex and extrude the edges merge all the vertices and align them extrude to fill this space merge all the vertices again shift select the inner edges and press alt e to extrude and then press s to scale press f to fill the gap with this inner edge ring selected go to edges and select mark sharp in the object mode press control a and apply the scale make sure the mirror modifier has clipping turned on now go to edit mode select the bottom faces and press alt e to extrude faces along normal bring the corner edges a little down Select the knife tool and divide the face into two. Select one of the faces. Press I to inset and Alt E to extrude along normal. Select the corner edges and press Control B to bevel. Hands are made of simple extrusions from sphere and cylinder. To create the wheel, add a cylinder with 20 vertices, rotate in required direction and scale down, delete the end faces, 
select the end edge loops and press E to extrude and then S shift Y to scale in Z and X direction. Then scale outward in Y direction. Shade smooth and auto smooth. Add an edge loop in the middle and use the knife tool to cut the faces. Select the faces and extrude them inwards. Alt E. Select this set of faces and delete the rest. Merge these end vertices. GG to drag and 1A M to merge. Add an empty. Select the wheel part, go to modifier and add array modifier. Select object offset and select empty. Set the count value to 20. Select the part and press Ctrl A and apply the rotation. Now select the empty and rotate it in Y direction at 18 degrees. So press R, Y and then type 18. Press enter. Now apply the modifier. Select the part, go to edit mode and press 1 A M by distance. Select the outer edge loop, press E to extrude and S to scale down. Select the face set and go to mesh separate selection. Select alternate edges by selecting two and pressing Ctrl Shift plus. Press Ctrl B and Alt E to extrude along normal. Select the center vertices and bring them out a little bit. Fill the bottom shape with primitives. Add another cylinder and position it to the side of the wheel. Delete the faces and just extrude one set of ring. E S. Delete the outer face. Select four edges and extrude upward. Press S Z 0 and extrude. In object mode, select the object and press Ctrl A to apply the scale. Fill the center shape and select all the faces. Press Alt E to extrude faces along normal. Add a new material, name it yellow, add a noise texture, add a color ramp, press Ctrl T to add mapping and texture coordinate, plug the noise texture to color ramp and color to base color. Now change the color to yellow. Add the noise texture to roughness and increase the specular. Duplicate the material, 
name it black change the yellow color to black add a second slot to the material select all the upper faces click on yellow and press assign add another material slot add new material and this time emission select the color and make it red increase the strength select the eye center faces go to material and press assign in render settings of ev turn on ambient occlusion and bloom you can also use blender kit for standard materials like rubber just search it here click and drag over to your object to apply the material i have painted this simple leaf in krita bring the png file to the material slot on a simple plane plug the color into color and alpha to alpha in the settings select blend mode to alpha clip now cut out the leaf with the knife tool add a cylinder and edit it to make the twig shape edit the leaf with proportional editing on select the leaf and press control period now move the pivot to the center now scale and move the leaf to make the plant add some random objects scale and place them on top of the plant give these a new emission material i have painted this simple grass and ground texture in krita add a plane scale it up add a new material and bring that ground texture for the plane subdivide the plane a few times go to sculpting and sculpt the ground and grass So this is how I made this simple scene. You can download this scene from my Sketchfab account. The link is in the description. I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye bye.